Hello everyone, this is Shayan Siddiqui with you, an expert business teacher, an educationalist and a corporate trainer. Welcome to my channel. This is the first lecture from the series of market segmentation. And in this lecture, I will explain you the basic concept of market segmentation. The lecture is going to be in English language. So without further delay, here we go. Welcome back. There are four main ways to segment or divide the market. Geographic segmentation, behavioral segmentation, psychographic segmentation, and demographic segmentation. Let's move on. I will start the topic with a real life example. Just think, just think. You buy a house and in that house, there is no drawing room, no bedroom, no living room, no study room, no washroom, and no kitchen. It's just a big hall. Now the question is, will you be able to understand the specific requirements or the needs of specific areas? Such as, for example, if you bring vegetables home and there is no kitchen, it's just a big hall. Where will you put those vegetables? No answer. If you bring furniture, a bed or something, where will you put that? So you won't be able to address the needs and the requirements of specific areas. For that, what you have to do? You have to divide the house accordingly. You have to make a drawing room, you have to make a bedroom, you have to make a living room, kitchen, washroom and so on, so that you can identify the specific needs, requirements and uses of specific areas. Let's apply the same concept on market segmentation. What is the market segmentation? Let me explain. Segmentation means divide, dividing the market. Divide, when you divide something that's called segment, okay? Market segmentation is a process. Now, first of all, I wrote here, market segmentation is a process, process, okay? Of dividing the market according to similar, now, these are the keywords which you have to write down if, for example, the question comes in exam and they ask you, what is market segmentation? You must write these words. And if you are a professional watching this video, this video is going to be highly beneficial for you. Let's move on. Market segmentation is a process of dividing the market according to similar needs and characteristics of people, which is actually your target group. Or you also divide the market according to the responses of the consumers. If you offer a marketing strategy toward a specific group, what will be their response? Just giving you an example. If I design a marketing strategy to uh, target children below 12, Okay, and I offer my product to them. So it is understandable that their response will be nearly similar. They all want to buy that specific product which I am offering toward them. They may contact their parents to buy it for them. So we also uh, divide the market according to the responses of specific group of people. Are you getting my point? This is the definition of market segmentation. Now the question is, why do businesses segment or divide the market? Or why is it important? Why is it necessary? Now, this why, I started this topic from why. Why? Because there is a reason. In the end, I have explained MBA level answer. Why do businesses segment their market? Understand? So I have started this topic from a very basic and I will end up on MBA. Do you understand? But this is not the only video on market segmentation. There are many other videos coming on market segmentation. I will explain you specifically each and every single area of market segmentation. And this is going to be highly beneficial if you are a marketing student. Moving on. Now, why do businesses segment? Number one, market segmentation is a very important concept to understand because dividing the market into different segment it makes it easier and very clear for businesses to analyze which group of customers should be targeted. Whatever the product I have, for example, I have got the mouse here. Whatever the there is no point if I target, if I'm making this mouse and I target below five 
children doesn't make sense doesn't make sense i am my product is different and my target market is different so when i segment my market properly so i can analyze which group of customers should we target and persuade them design the marketing strategy to persuade them so that they should buy my product or services are you getting my point so when you segment it becomes very easy for you to understand and analyze okay these are the segments of the market and that is the specific segment i will target i will offer my product or service to that specific segment and i will design my marketing strategy for them are you getting my point okay let's move on market segmentation basically answers two main questions the first one is which customer or group will we serve as i explained the concept of target market i have already made a video on uh, target market and consumer profiling here is the link and it is in the description as well go and check it okay so it answers two different questions which group will we serve secondly how are we going to serve them how are we going to convince them how are we going to address the needs and wants of that specific group all the questions relating to it are answered in market segmentation but this is not the only tool that businesses use to uh, be succeeded in the market there are other tools as well okay moving on it's not a tool it's just a concept um, market segmentation there is one thing which i would like to clarify sometimes it happens when i mark the you know answers exams of different students and even international students they make a big mistake if the question is about what is the market segment they answer segmentation there is a huge difference between segmentation and a segment segmentation is a process just giving an example for example there is a birthday cake and you are cutting the birthday cake cutting 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 okay the process of cutting a cake is called segmentation just for example this is a process and when you pick up one piece for yourself that is a segment okay so dividing the market is segmentation and once you divide you further divide and you look at the subgroup of uh, segmented market that is basically called a segment of market a market segment refers to the subgroup of the customers that share common characteristics such as the interest demographics and so on uh, for example i make a, a demographic segmentation and i say okay all of them are unmarried okay so that, that that has actually become a specific segment of market that okay i'm going to target my product i'm going to offer my product to unmarried people or newly married people or something like that getting my point so that is a specific segment so there is a huge difference between market segment and segmentation market segmentation is a process and market segment is a subgroup moving on okay now furthermore explanation of market segmentation what and why let's look at it market segment is a process which is used by marketers to group the similar consumers together now listen similar and consumers why didn't i write customers there is a huge difference between customer and consumers and for that there is a short video i have already made it about customers versus consumers consumer is the final user of the product and businesses design their marketing strategy design their product develop their product in order to address the needs and wants of that final users so that they can be satisfied so now what is market segmentation it's a process which is used by the marketers to group the similar consumers together similar consumers according to age according to gender according to religion according to race according to area according to behavior according to income whatever okay now the question is why do businesses do it i have combined it together if the question comes in exam you can write this definition full marks okay it helps them better target their marketing efforts by sending the right message to the right consumer group right message to the right consumer group once you know that this is my target group it becomes very easier for you to send a right message 
to them only. I checked a question. A question appeared in one of the exams and the question was, can a market be segmented according to feeling? Only a few students could answer that. But the answer is yes. A market can be segmented according to the feeling, according to the behavior of the customers, which is linked with that feeling. Giving you an example, Mr. Donald Trump, the ex-president of United States of America, People who were running the marketing campaign of President Donald Trump, what they did, they collected the data. And his speeches used to be designed according to the feeling of people. For example, he's going to California. What people love to hear, for example, they love to hear about racism okay and they, they they hate racism just for example so he will deliver the speech against racism okay he is going to any other state just for example over there there is a problem of unemployment so his speech will be designed to address the problem of unemployment and it used to hit the heart of the listeners their brains they used to think oh that is a president who is Thinking as we are thinking. It's not like in our countries that where our leaders go They simply deliver the simple speech corruption 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 and so on but His speeches used to be designed in an outstanding way which helped him out getting elected Okay, moving on now There are four main prominent ways in which you can segment the market all of the different segmentation actually fall in these four main ways. The first one is demographic segmentation. I'm not going to explain you demographic segmentation in details, but I will give you a quick um, idea because there is a separate video on demographic segmentation, which I will upload soon. Demographic segmentation, when you divide the market according to age, gender, family size, income, education, and so on. This is called demographic segmentation, okay? The second one is called geographic segmentation. When you divide the market according to um, um, country, region, Asian region, um, people living in South Asia, people living in, 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 um, in the North, people living in US, Europe, and so on, climates, that all comes under the category of geographic segmentation. The third one is behavioral segmentation. You divide the market according to the behavior of the consumers. How do they behave? What is their attitude, uh, their uses, their response, different occasions and so on. There are separate videos for each and every single uh, segment of the market. Let's move on psychographic segmentation you also divide your market psychographically social class lifestyle personality of your consumers and so on now the question which you see is simple question why do businesses segment a market but the answer is a bit critical and the answer is like a master's level mba level businesses segment their market to identify the targeted group we already know it so that businesses can modify their product according to the needs, requirements, expectations of that specific targeted group. Are you getting my point? So when you offer the product which a targeted group is expecting to get, there is a huge chance that your product will be successful in the market. The second thing is when you properly segment the market, the risk is minimized the risk of failure is minimized by keeping in your mind a lot of businesses fail because of the wrong segmentation of market if the market is segmented wrong you will design the marketing strategy wrong and you will update or modify your product wrong so simple thing wrong 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 the wrong placement will become the reason of the failure of that product okay so Proper segmentation minimizes the risk, okay? By properly segmenting the market, businesses gain the market share. Now, the question is, how can businesses gain market share if they segment the market properly? Answer is very simple, very, very simple. 
when you design your marketing strategy which actually fits when you develop your product which fits for the targeted group according to the requirements expe expectations and so on definitely they will jump to buy your product your sales will go up if your sales go up revenue will go up and slowly and steadily you will gain a lot of market share because your sales going up your revenue is going up so you are your market share is also increasing and what is the reason market segmentation getting my point okay businesses can utilize their available resources in more efficient way yeah if you segment the market you exactly know that that's what we have to do if you segment the market correctly then you exactly know that these are the available resources and this is how i'm going to use them as best as i can as efficient as i can are you getting my point okay so now uh, it's not uh, a complete answer i would say but these are the basic points which i have given you it's up to you if you are an mb or bba student that is up to you how to elaborate the answer okay this was my first lecture on market segmentation i hope you have understood this lecture in which i try to clarify the basic concept of market segmentation more lectures will be uploaded soon in which I will explain you demographic, psychographic, behavioral and geographical segmentations in details. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I request you to do so. If you have already done so, thank you so much. Please refer my channel to others so that they can also benefit from my lectures. Thank you so much for watching.